And after talking to KJ Kindler, she could not say enough good things about this freshman. You gotta love a good comeback story. Jordan had to sit out of the sport for years due to an injury. But that's not the reason why KJ likes her so much. She said what makes her special is her confidence and her swagger. And specifically, when she makes a mistake, she's able to brush it off and keep going. We saw that after the first event. Let's see it here on Beam. You're right, she followed up with that 9-3-5 on vault with a 9-9 on bars. She's a very expressive gymnast. She reminds me so much of Anastasia Webb, who mm -hmm. happens to be her idol. Lovely back handspring layout, step out. She's also she, tall like Anastasia. She's five foot six inches tall. And she has a unique style that I know that she will just grow through these next four years unafraid to be uniquely herself. Sam mentioned that she took some time off after elite gymnastics, almost two and a half years with a back injury. So any of you young gymnasts out there watching this, she decided to move to level 10, stayed motivated, because she wanted to participate in collegiate gymnastics. And here she is, fulfilling her dream, competing for the Sooners. Round off double twist. Very nice job, because I could see the nerves. There was a little bit of nervous tension in her face. That's where you see it on balance beam, but she handled it. She managed it, and it's only going to get better. So as I said, the judges sit right on the side. They see if the gymnast hits that 180 split and if they finish the turn in the air. She was a little shy, but double twist, one of the harder dismounts to stick. And these landings, nice to see her go for it, though. She followed up a 9.875 from J. 